RGB 10 Max comes with a custom version of Emuelec out of the box, but it lacks all the features and updates of the newest version. Even though Emuelec is not officially supported on RGB 10 Max, we can install the version that is intended for Odroid Go Super, as they both share the same hardware architecture. Before starting, make sure you have an unzipping software like 7-Zip and also an image transfer software called Rufus. And you will also need to download the right image from the MULX site. I'll put the link for all three of these in the description below to help you out. So let's go visit the MULX site to download the correct image file that we can use with RGB10 Max. We are going to download the image for Odroid Go 2, which is Odroid Go Super, and we will download the zipped version of it with the extension GZ. And once that is downloaded, you need to unzip the file using 7-zip to extract the image file. Once the image is extracted, we will launch Rufus. And you could also use Bellina Etcher or some other image transfer program if you like. While Rufus is running, first select your SD card where the device dropdown is. Most of the time, Rufus will auto-detect this. Then, you need to select the image file that you just unzipped in the previous step by clicking on the Select button. Leave everything else as default. Now, you need to click on the Start button and wait for the image transfer to complete. After the image transfer is completed, we'll take the SD card out of the reader, insert the card into the RGB10 Max to let the OS do the partitions and initial setup. Then we will take the card out, put it back into the card reader to install the games. Then after that, you will want to reinsert the SD card into the RGB10 Max and turn it on. You will see the initial run through of everything and once that is finished, because this version of MULEC is intended for Odroid Go Super, the buttons will need to be remapped to match the RGB10 Max. The process is very simple. Let me show you how to do that. First, what you need to do is hit Start. Then, go down to Controller Settings. What you want to do next after you hit OK is hold a button down for a few seconds. Then you will get this menu. And basically all you do is follow the instructions here on this particular menu. Here what you do is press the corresponding button on the device in the menu until you are done. Very simple. And that's it. You're all set. How easy was that? Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope this has been helpful for you. And please don't forget to share this with your friends. As always, have a tech-tastic day.